In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Do you like to wash up? Do you like uh, taking a bath? Do you like take, taking a shower? You get over that sink and you just kind of, you love scrubbing your face and getting it all clean. Maybe you even use some extra special soap or some extra cloths or something. Some people really love exfoliating and really doing all kinds of stuff to get themselves all clean. Some people don't like doing that so much. My wife, you know, she, she, she takes her shower, she but she doesn't enjoy it. I love taking a shower. Sometimes I want to stay in there five more minutes and let that water just get on my back. Well, in our Bible story this week, Jesus told the man who was born blind that after he got the mud on his eyes, he was supposed to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Jesus said, go wash and just cleanse yourself. Just take care of yourself. And that was a picture of what Jesus was doing, giving him a fresh, clean start. When I think about washing, I think about how Jesus has given us each a fresh, clean start. He's done that by the power of baptism. Washing is clean. If, if, been, if you've been baptized, it's a way God has worked on that for you. If you haven't been baptized, talk to a pastor, talk to someone like me, and we love to make that happen. It's a sign of what God has done for us. He's washed us clean by what Jesus Christ has done, and we are clean for all eternity. That's good news for you and me. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for washing us all clean on the inside by the power of of what you've done for us on the cross and by connecting that uh, to us by your word and through the power of baptism. Bless us as we go forward and keep us safe today. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen.